Good morning. So I want to talk a little bit about tunnel vision. Um, a lot of times we can get stuck in tunnel vision and and we can get stuck there for quite a while. We can get stuck there even for, for days, for weeks, for months, for years. Um, stuck in this loop of thought, this tunnel vision that we really find it difficult to escape from. Um, so really the first thing in, in getting out of tunnel vision and broadening her, our horizons, because there's so many different things that there's so many different aspects to life. There's so many different in, things that we can enjoy. There's so many different ways of thinking. There's so many different perspectives. And a lot of times we'll get stuck in this perspective, this feeling of loss or a feeling of I'm not enough or or that we're fixated on a person or an outcome or a job or some way that we have to be, we become fixated on something and we get lost in this tunnel vision. And the thing is with the tunnel vision is that when you get stuck in these tunnel vision loops, you can get stuck there because these loops, these thought loops, they feed themselves. They continuously uh, reinforce themselves and the more power you give to it the more power it gets and the longer that it's it stays in your life so it's like breaking I'm trying to hike up to that plateau up there there's a, I just want to get up there and sit so I'm checking out here I'll turn the camera around just so you can see where I'm at so I am either going to hike up that crevice over there or I'm looking at hiking. I could hike straight up that, but then the dogs wouldn't be able to make it, but maybe they could find their own way up. And I want to get up there to where that inlay is, see what's up there. So taking you on my morning adventure. So I want to talk a little bit about ways to break these loops and these cycles. Um, first of all, the first thing is knowing and being aware that you have a cycle like this. It's a thought that perpetually keeps coming back, keeps coming in, and it, and it basically, it kind of leads your life. It kind of, everything that you do becomes um, in some way relevant to that. And, and when you are able to break the loop and, and release yourself from the tunnel vision, then your life opens up. I can smell flowers. And there's some kind of flower. I want to see if it's this flower. I don't know. I don't know, but I smell flowers. Something really sweet, like a really nice smell. Maybe it's that tree over there. Um, and the, uh, um, so, so the first step is really realizing that you have tunnel vision and really realizing, you know, to, uh, uh, checking it out. When you are aware of what it is, that's already most of the feet because once you're aware of it, then when it comes up, you'll be able to pinpoint it and you'll be able to, to see it because when you, when you are in tunnel vision, you keep giving power to the same thoughts. The same thoughts keep coming up and it becomes like an obsession or like a, an addiction, uh, addictive way of thinking. So really it's it's realizing when you have these thoughts and being able to break those mind loops um and come out of it and and also being being uh lenient with yourself and um and loving yourself and being forgiving of yourself because these loops do take time they have momentum going they've been going for a while and they came to serve a purpose and you you uh uh, can really be forgiving in yourself and, and um, what is the word, em empathetic towards yourself. And because no amount of getting down on yourself is going to help with it. It's, it's exactly the opposite. If you're getting down on yourself, so not only are you, are you in this tunnel vision and these mind loops, but you are also uh, getting down on yourself, which is perpetuating it. Now, tunnel vision, if you look at it, there's, there's different ways of looking at it. It is a good, it can be a very good attribute when you have tunnel vision. Um, that is, a, a tunnel vision allows you to, to uh, also create in your life. When you have tunnel vision about certain things, you know, like you're building a business and you have tunnel vision about that business for a certain amount of time while you're building it, then that can serve you. So you can see tunnel vision as kind of like an attribute that is a talent. It is a gift. 
but these gifts have two sides to them or more than two sides to them they have plenty of sides to them uh, all of the gifts that we get it's like archetypes they have their side of light to them where that we can use them as a superpower but they also have a different side to them that if we are not aware of them and we are not in charge of of the power then that power takes over our being and it um moves us instead of us moving it so really it's a tunnel vision is really just taking power over it and realizing where it is serving us in our life and where it isn't serving us in our life and where it isn't serving us in our life to be able to take power over it and change it and move our tunnel vision into something else we could even take that tunnel vision that same tunnel vision and move it into the uh move it into tunnel vision on changing the tunnel vision and then that can become your new tunnel vision and you know it's like when I started out in the spiritual awakening I became obsessed with the spiritual awakening and that became what I was working on look how far I've come already it's funny how uh, everything is connected to everything look how far I've come I've come quite a way quite a ways and um, so so the first part of breaking tunnel vision is even realizing what it is, uh, realizing that it is a superpower and realizing that you can take charge of it and being aware of it, noticing it when it comes up, noticing, okay, I'm obsessing over this again. I am, uh, this isn't serving me in this place and being aware when it starts to come up so that you can change the thought or so that you can, um, change or you could say shift okay, I'll show you what I'm doing hiking straight up this mountain with a pen and a paper in one hand the camera in the other <laughs> trust 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 but I'm also I experience so Let me move the camera over to my other hand as so I can hold on here and the dogs are finding their way up. Okay. Okay, I'm almost up. There we go. I'm up. Let me turn it around and show you where I'm at. So I got to this little plateau here. I think I'm going to scale along the mountain there and go through that mountain pass up there where I can see the sun coming through. There's a pass up there. That is where I started out at, down at the bottom. There's a tree down here. I'm going that way. I think I'll sit for a minute and sum up so I can talk about this. Focused on this. Just find a place to sit. Here's a nice place. Get my bag off for a minute. Oh, I want to show you that. That Look, I'm right across from those uh, caves over there, the catacomb caves. See those caves? They're beautiful. I hike up to there often. There's a massive cave there in the middle. So once we become aware of the tunnel vision, then we notice it when it starts coming up, and then we can actually start shifting it into other thoughts. And... The thing about tunnel vision is that it is rep repetitive. It's a repetitive way of thinking. It's a loop that keeps looping and keeps going, um, keeps on going. I'm going to pause this for a second so I can recenter. Okay. So I wanted to give some tips and some advice on how to get out of tunnel vision. Um, I also have tunnel vision. It's one of my knacks, one of my talents, is being able to go very, very deep into one subject or very, very obsessively on one subject, which is a good attribute when it's used properly. Um, you can educate yourself to, to, to fine details. You, you have interests and you have thoughts that, uh, uh, um, what is that, uh, focus, and you can go very, very deep into a subject. When you have tunnel vision, it's almost like an obsessive uh, uh, 
uh, obsessive addictive personality, which is which can be a very very strong and powerful tool when used with light. And so ways of breaking tunnel vision um, in, from obsessive uh, loops that don't serve you, that you can feel that are, are detrimental to you, that are changing your life in a way that is, that is not positive. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. First of all, you become aware of them, and then you notice when they come up so that you can break them when they come up. Because it is a consistent way of thinking, you have to consistently uh, interrupt it, interrupt the mind loops. So, and it's difficult because a lot of times we want to go down these little rabbit holes. We want, our mind wants to overthink these things. And the thing is, is that we're continuously thinking the same thoughts. And it is of no, uh, uh, when it is something that is frustrating and something that is not going anywhere, like obsessing over uh, something that isn't and all the reasons why it didn't come to be and all. It is of no power to our life. It doesn't give us power. Once we understand something, the, and we, as sometimes we don't even have to understand it to let it go. Once we understand that it is interfering with our life continuing and interfering with our happiness and interfering with our ability to enjoy other things, then it is interfering with our life. And then that, it, that in that way, it becomes something that, um, is not uh, an attribute to us. It, it, do, it doesn't help our lives go forward from here. Once we understand something enough or understand that we don't completely understand it, or once we have enough of an understanding of it, or sometimes we don't even have to understand it to let it go to understand that, okay, that is not serving me in my life from here on out. I want to have a different, you know, a different way of, of living. I want to put my focus on different things. I want to enjoy different things. I want to broaden my horizons instead of going into this tunnel vision that makes our life very, very small and one, like one pointed. And so when we want to break tunnel vision, there are different ways that we can go about it. Uh, we can move, move, simply get up and move. Um, do something else, get out into nature, start to uh, do dishes. It doesn't matter what you do. Just take your, take your focus and put it somewhere else. Um, notice the, what you're doing. And, and another thing is make a list of things that you enjoy in life or things that you used to enjoy in life. I know that sometimes when we're in this tunnel vision and we're in these dark places, we don't find joy. Nothing else interests us. We, we can't find joy in anything. But we do have memories of things that did at one point bring us joy in our childhood or, or how we want to feel. Or we can take an example of somebody else and, and see what brings them joy and the places that we feel like uh, even envy, those are places that you can take envy and you can turn it into inspiration. And so you can take things that you envy in other people and add them onto your life and say, okay, this is how I want to, I want to feel. So make a list and then you can you can make a list and you, and you can decide that you're going to put your focus on those things because whatever you put your focus on in your life is what expands so whenever you catch yourself going into these loops get the list out and read it even if it just seems mechanically in the beginning even if it you know fake it till you make it we we are we re, we can reprogram our mind we can reprogram our mind. We can reprogram our emotions. We, we are very, very, very elastic beings. Uh, I mean, look at, look at the different ways of being all the way around the world. If you look at different uh, mentalities and different places and different religions and different talents, some people know how to play multiple instruments, which is like learning a whole language. Um, people live many, many, many different ways and believe many, many, many different things and they have full belief of them. So we can reprogram our mind to be any which way um, when we learn how to break these loops and to add new things into our lives. Um, there's uh, also a book that I read. I probably listened to the audio book and didn't read it, but it's The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. And this is very important. The five second rule, it's changing your life five seconds at a time. So, um, and I would really suggest uh, if, if you haven't read the book or you haven't heard about it, to uh, do a little bit of research on it or read the book. It's life changing. My brother sent it to me a few years ago and for a few months, I just was like on it like that. I wanna, I wanna read it again. 
but it is changing your life. It's the five second rule. It's when you think about something, act on it. Go. When you think about something that you need to do, do five, four, three, two, one, and take one step forward towards it. It doesn't matter what it is, the step. You know, if you're thinking on writing a book, open up a document in Google Docs and title it my book, even if you don't have a title. Uh, you know, just make some kind of step towards something. And then you'll see that in little steps, little steps, little steps, something comes to be. And that's something that I was, this morning I was making coffee before I came out here on this hike. And I put on the water to make coffee. And uh, and this was my second cup of coffee. I also I, I do exercises also while I while when I put on my first the first water of the morning after my meditation, and lately I've been doing affirmations and then meditation. I like doing the affirmations first because I'm still in that sleep mode, and the affirmations go in really deep, and then I meditate and I meditate on the affirmations, and so it like even it makes it even deeper because I'm already in that mode of the you know, like the um, haziness. And I do affirmations of, I, I found all sorts of affirmations from um, Louise Hay from Hay House. She is wonderful. She has a wonderful vibe. She has a wonderful, bright spirit. And you can feel her essence through her words and her affirmations. And 10 years ago, when I was when I started on this journey, I was I was I was doing her affirmations and they really helped me. And I know my daughter did her affirmations and they really helped. And lately I found some really good affirmations of hers for towards success. And in any case, it's it's a nice start of the day. I'm also going to make affirmations, uh, my own affirmations and, and do a recording for whoever wants to uh, listen to it. Um, that's something that I'm planning and see, it's coming into the forefront. It's coming into the forefront. It's been cooking for a while, but I need to, I want to sit down and actually write them out. My sister told me that I could come and use her recording system to uh, record them. So that's something that I'm going to be working on in the next uh, um, few weeks here. That and I'm sewing my own clothes out of linen. I'm excited about that. See, this is breaking those loops, the chasing loops, putting things into my life that I want to achieve, that I want to accomplish, that I want in my life, and putting the, start bringing them into the forefront. Um, on this twin flame journey, you go into really intense <laughs> tunnel vision. And, and I, everything that I speak of are things that I have realized within myself, going through myself on my own spiritual awakening and path and understanding of how things are working. And so experiences. And so the five second rule is really, it, it's, also a, it's also a tool to get your life in motion to get things start moving when you think about something don't waste time five four three two one take action five four even if it's just lifting up the phone and making a phone call about it uh doing because then we we begin to move things that we procrastinate around the most because the thoughts that keep coming up are things that are uh, in our consciousness things that we need to take care of things that want to get attention and a lot of times we perpetually push the things that we don't want to deal with down. But once we start taking it, uh, uh, or, or things that seem too hairy or too complicated or it's too much for me right now, we keep pushing them down. And what happens is it starts creating pressure in our lives and, it, and it's always in the background bugging us. Do, 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 do. So when you have these uh, mind loops that you're in, you can use accomplishment, you know, use the five second rule, first of all, to take your mind off of those, that get, pull yourself out of the loops. And it also starts creating movement in your life. And then you can also, with this list that you make, purposefully put thoughts in your mind. You know, I want to write a book or um, the, the pantry needed, needed cleaning for the last six months. And I, the one day I'm going to get to it or uh, the bills that need to be paid that I don't know what I'm going to do about, or um, the person that I owe an answer to, or, you know, all of these things that are in the background 
we can use them, even things that we don't really want to do or like to do. And we can use them to break these, this tunnel vision. And also, once we start achieving things, once we start moving our lives, it's just like the spiritual awakening. Once you start on the spiritual awakening path, it's painful when you start opening these Pandora boxes. But once you go through them, it feels so good. The sense of accomplishment, the, the new realizations, the new arrivals where you arrive at yourself. And it feels so good that you want to do it more. You want to do it more. And then you start wanting to put yourself into these hard places and because your life starts getting situated, you start taking care of things. And I'm talking to myself and talking to you at the same time. And a sense of accomplishment makes you feel good. At the end of the day, you sleep well because, wow, I finally did that. There's such a relief in getting things done that need to get done. And so you can take this tunnel vision and you can you can break the, the loops. Once you start breaking the loops, it starts breaking down really quick, the tunnel vision. And you can empower yourself by doing, replacing that with other things and I know a lot of times when you don't when you are in this tunnel vision and you're in that mindset and you're in this down mode all you want to do is sit like this and hold your head and it's really hard to find encouragement or power or 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 um, the want to move or even being able to move yourself your body but once you do the first step once you start the movement once you take the first step, you see how easy it is. You're like, what? I, how easy? You, you know, you want to do the pantry. You go in there and you just move a couple things. All of a sudden, you start seeing how when things start coming together, how good it feels. And you, do, it, one thing pulls to another, pulls to another. And before you know it, you're already done with it. Or before you know it, you took five minutes. This morning, that's what I was saying about when I was, when I was making the coffee. I was waiting for the water to boil and I have this big pile of unfolded clothes on my couch. And I decided that while the coffee and water is boiling, instead of just standing around waiting for it, I'm going to be folding laundry. You wouldn't believe the amount of laundry that I got folded just while the water was boiling. And now not only did I get that much accomplishment done, did I get all those, those clothes folded, the task is much smaller now, so it's less hairy to deal with. So not only did I get a whole bunch of work out of the way, in five minutes, five minutes, you wouldn't believe how much you can do in five minutes. I remember a few years ago, I decided that I was going to do things in increments of five minutes. Yeah, you have an extra five minutes at least 10 times a day, right? That's less than an hour. And when you decide, okay, five minutes on this, five minutes on this, five minutes on this, First of all, you see the, how doable it is. You see how much you can accomplish in five minutes. I remember, I remember that the outside of my house, in front of my house, along the along the drive, there was like garbage that was that that accumulated there <clears throat> in a small settlement. That, and I remember saying, "Okay, five minutes. I'm going to clean that up." It took me less than five minutes, and that had been there like for you know, pulling up a few weeds and a little bit of garbage and plastic that flew around or whatever. It took me less than five minutes. And my whole, it changed the whole front of my home. And, and I thought about it afterwards, like, why had I been perpetually putting that off for months? And it took me five minutes. And so you would not believe the amount of accomplishment that you can get done in five minutes. And what is five minutes? And when you push yourself through five minutes, you get a sense of accomplishment and you get a sense of pride in yourself and you get a sense of, uh, of I can do anything. It's invincible and a sense of movement in your life. And you are proud of yourself for doing it. And it doesn't have to be big. It can be very small. And, um, and you can use these powers to break the mind loops. And so then it's like a double whammy and you're improving your life. And so it's a five second rule. Whenever you think of something that keeps coming up, you do, you do five, four, three, two, one, move, move on it. Take one step towards it. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever the next uh, uh, plausible step is, do it. You want to start a project? 
open a notebook for it. Open a, a page for it in the in the internet. Yeah, uh, pull the stuff out of the closet that needs to be done. Uh, you want to sort your clothes? That's something that I've been wanting to do lately. Is go through my whole closet and take out all the polyester and see what I'm left with. Um, polyester, it's it's it. I feel like it's dense and it it doesn't allow for my vibration to go out or or for me to receive it's like wearing plastic so it, it's it stops my connection to the world around me it's not natural um, so there's a lot of different trick tricks that you can do to get yourself out of these mind loops and to um, trip trip up the trip up the tunnel vision trip up the tunnel vision and get yourself out of it and start pulling yourself out of it even if you're in total darkness and i know how that feels even when you're in total darkness it's it's knowing and understanding that you do have the power and knowing and understanding that sometimes you just have to crawl out of the hole even without being able to see the light but the more you crawl, the closer you get to the light. And then once you start seeing the light, it becomes, it gets quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and until you are completely in the light. And so I'm wishing you so much love and um, encouragement and strength in your journey. I know this journey, this journey is, it's, it's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. That's why I can perpetu I keep on making these videos and I and, and there's so many subjects because you have to go through your entire self, all of your emotions, everything that is is you and it is a journey. And tunnel vision, we get into these places of tunnel vision that can bring us a lot of uh, suffering. But just knowing that you can get out of it, you can break the cycle, you can do it just one step at a time. Get outside. Force yourself. Force yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Do something. Get out in the sun. The sun is healing. The sun, the sun nurtures you. It makes you feel. Um, get out into the elements. Even the cold can can lift you open do do power poses you know just change it change the loop find the loop to finding the loop and realizing that you're in tunnel vision and being aware of it is already is already more than 50 percent of the way and uh, even more than that because once you realize that you're in it you have to break the cycle so just know that you can and know that there are tricks to do it and and you're the only one that can do it because you're the only one in your mind and i'm sending you so much love and so much strength so thank you for watching